Hey everybody, this is Everything Under the Sun. I'm here with Kevin and Joey and Alicia. Hey, hey. guys. Hey guys. We talk we about said, hey, in order, <laughs> almost. Joey. Oh yeah. So Joey <laughs> and the... stepped on Alicia's line. <laughs> Classic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we talked about a lot of stuff. We talked about WandaVision. Uh, so watch out for WandaVision spoilers. A lot of WandaVision spoilers. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. What else have we talked about? Also for Joey because he hasn't seen it. Joey had not seen it. <laughs> Whenever we recorded I feel this like episode. I run home and watch it right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, we talked about Mortal Kombat and we talked about video Which games. Which Alicia is an expert in, and we didn't Apparently. know. Apparently, yeah, yeah. yeah. Better, uh, <laughs> no, so. no, you. you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you want to hear all that stuff, keep listening because this is everything under the sun. What is hot yoga and what is the difference between mm. hot yoga and the temperature? Not warm. The temperature. So the temperature. They yeah. Turn the heat so on. it's not. Oh. It's not the people there blame. So it's like a. <laughs> so it's like not, a. There's not like a ugly yoga. <laughs> That's the yoga that I attend. <laughs> and like a eh, yoga. <laughs> it's a. This is about to get ugly. <laughs> Which That's... you're going to do it, right? One day again? I'm going to do it again, done before? Yeah, which means I've done it before. Mm-hmm. I did it one time. Yoga is more physically taxing than it seems like it will be. Yeah, yeah. So whenever they how tell is, me to do the ch- chaturanga, I don't do the chaturanga. It's like what? tricep dip. Sounds like push something. Up. Tricep push up. <laughs> yeah. and then you come Everything down. sounds weird. Yeah, it sounds like So you do yoga. yoga. That sounds miserable. Why would you oh, exercise I with the heat? I love it. Sunrise I love salutation. I love the so heat. it's like a sauna. Yeah. So, but yeah, not that. Do but all, you exercise in the sauna. Do all the moves Kinda, sound yeah. like IKEA furniture? Yes, yeah. <laughs> we start with the, the sunrise salutation. <laughs> and she talks like this. <laughs> but I tell and you what. And we breathe in good feelings. Yeah. <laughs> clear your it space. It sounds very calm. And... I'm going to need some oxygen. <laughs> you, can all be good feelings. You uh, <laughs> would suck at it. No, yeah. <laughs> oh, no you would no. be dripping. Uh, oh me? Oh yeah, oh, I'm dripping yeah. right now. That's what happens. Yours would like be slippery yoga. In the nineties, <laughs> yeah, purposefully. Yeah, it's probably not other people my size doing that. Oh, what? What do you mean? Oh, there's some large people that do it. <laughs> really, really, and they're great. They're great. They're there, so, so the so. implication are they there. Dripping? We're starting no, early. No, really not. <laughs> They're not dripping. So hmm. you should try it, though. But you would be. <laughs> so they got me a shirt for two shirts for my birthday that mm-hmm. are only revealed. <laughs> though what says what it says on them is only revealed by being drenched in sweat. Ew, that's nasty. Uh, well, try one out. Water. What are they? Or water. water. You could ditch the swimming could swim. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. That's why you got it. <laughs> it's, it's not like we're motivating him to sweat more. He's already no, doing it. Happens. He's you, already doing it. We might as well give him a shirt. The reality. <laughs> Have you read the messages yet? Uh, the, the one I wore to run on Saturday said, uh, please wait, muscles loading, <laughs> dot, 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 <laughs> which is true. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're just not. You're gonna have to wait. Whenever you're running, they're just not, they're not there right now. on that part. <laughs> what? They're whenever you're whenever you're running, they're not loading on the top half. Well, yeah. So it was. Start still the progress. It ball wasn't ball. that warm yesterday, so the, only like a certain part was getting sweaty. So it was just like. It, it, please so wait. it just said, "Please wait." <laughs> and people read that. And like, what please am I please for? wait. What you saying? Seventy-eight percent complete. <laughs> <laughs> just said, "Please What's wait." What's about to happen? <laughs> Hope it's worth it. He may do a trick. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's about to do something awesome. Everybody look. <laughs> yeah. uh, look, honey. Um, so Look, surge roids. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look, a penny. Um, <laughs> yes. Blame. I watched the most recent episode of WandaVision. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. Oh, what? Oh my you haven't. knew you were doing <laughs> this. I, I know. I know. Let's talk about I'm caught up. No, I'm so so let's talk about name. Yep. Okay, because I saw a picture of. Wait, 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 wait. Before you say anything, we're just gonna give a a fair spoiler warning. Spoiler warning. Yeah. Spoiler 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 (laughs) warning. Because we are gonna be talking about WandaVision probably a lot here. (laughs) Please don't scream warning into the microphone. Blaine. A girl. People's <laughs> what? <laughs> Her name is Wanda. She's from the office. When, from the office. When, Kevin. Does so those it. were two things were, that Kevin just yelled at, at the office when they're they're like we should come up with some sort of they're waiting they're trying to do something behind Charles Miner's back. No 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 no. It was uh, oh, the, oh, Robert yeah. California. They were Robert scanning California. the list. Yeah. We should come up with some sort of warning signal. That's right. And, and Kevin sees him coming and he's just like. 
Warning! <laughs> Warning! <laughs> Season the other nine, one episode is one. <laughs> when somebody's there to see Daryl, and I can't remember who it is. Is it his wife? or his... It's Daryl's wife. Daryl's wife they just girlfriend. got back together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she comes up, and Kevin's standing behind the counter at the receptionist's office, and he's like, oh, wait, I'm not supposed to represent the company. Uh, <laughs> let me get... He's trying to find somebody else. And then he sees Daryl across the... He obviously gets, goes, Daryl! <laughs> A girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's all post season seven. Yeah, yeah, season so nine, I'm episode not, one. I'm not a big post season what? seven. What? Come fan. on, man. I, Come I enjoy on. it. I do enjoy. That's how you know it the... is awful. But I well, I that's... enjoy parts of nine. That's how you know the office writers are. A big part of what made it successful. Oh yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. still Just, hilarious. It's mm-hmm. really good. It was it didn't... both B J you... Novak and Mindy Kaling left for eight yeah. and came back halfway through nine. You do. I didn't lose. even notice that. Mm-hmm. Who? B.J. Novak and Mindy Kaling so are Ryan and Ryan Kelly. Kelly, and they, but they're writers on the right. show. Oh, mm-hmm. even Ryan. Yeah. Wow. Well, and he's Toby, dumb, he's acting dumb. Yeah. Toby is a writer. <laughs> he's not actually dumb. <laughs> uh, Toby is a writer. <laughs> Toby is a writer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Toby's a writer. It really shocked you, some of the people. Yeah. Wow. And then Greg Daniels, of course. Moses is a writer. Mm-hmm. Moses yeah, is a writer. I hearing that one. That's right. Yeah, uh, which is the best. <laughs> which is the best. No, I thought you were referencing uh, whenever Roy comes back in the office and Kevin mm-hmm. busts out of the kitchen. He's like, Jim, Jim, Roy. Roy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kev. Yeah. <laughs> Got your back. <laughs> Let's just quote the office. Yes, we can make that a whole episode. Yeah, That's totally fine. That. Certainly, people have had ample enough time for spoiler warning things. I am. Yeah. Oh, spoilers for WandaVision, by the yes. way. That's You're... what all that meant. <laughs> yeah. What were you going to say? Well, uh, what were you going to say about WandaVision? I <laughs> saw today a picture of a dead vision, and uh-huh. the comment was something about like there was two visions, a live one and a dead one. Vision has been dead yeah. for a long time, so, Joey. So, Spoiler alert for this you want Avengers Endgame. Yeah, do you want to know? Infinity War. Well, well, now I've found out already. Well, well you, don't no, you don't really understand it. You don't know. It. Yeah. yeah, you don't understand well, look, we got to do it for the for the show. Do we? We don't. We Everything don't have to. Everything under yeah. the sun. Yeah. It's yeah. gonna be our sting from now on. <laughs> <laughs> you can't it's gonna it. be that <laughs> company, like followed right after by Sheena's tss sound effect. <laughs> there you you know, go. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna put it together now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, but yeah, so we don't have to talk about the most recent episode. But the last time we talked, I had not watched any of them, and now I am. I have watched well, so all. We of have them. to say something about the most re- recent episode because do. I don't know who it was I talked to, but I called something that happened. Mm. Might have been you, Blaine. I I call. I've called multiple things in this show. Well, no. <laughs> okay, well, let's not start <laughs> counting. I'm yeah. talking about in I this wanna, previous episode. A, uh-huh, okay, Go I've ahead. called several things. Okay, hey, the thing. second time I watched it, I knew exactly what was going to happen. No. Wanda, vision. <laughs> <laughs> so, what did you call? That all of the TV shows that she is projecting are just what was available for them to watch in Sokovia. Mm. Did we talk about that? I mentioned that to someone, and I thought it might have been you. Okay. I've said to several people that, hey, I called that, and they're like, oh, you didn't call that to me. Because that's what I've been, I I mean, been like, saying They could only well. watch I Love Lucy and Modern Family. And- yeah. Yeah, they, like her dad has, oh, well, spoiler, her dad has a bunch of DVDs that he tries to sell. Like bootleg DVDs, and that's mm-hmm. what they watch when they get home. And so, like Dick Van Dyke was her favorite mm-hmm. that she wanted to watch. Yeah. And so that's like their each, and I had each said, set is based off of a TV show. I had said something similar in that, like I, I'm oh, sure I that, also called it uh, okay. maybe before you. I don't know. <laughs> in that, that's what you're saying, Blaine. <laughs> it's like, oh well, her the old TV shows are what made her like feel like she was in a safe place, and so, mm-hmm. but. There are details in that revelation that make me confused about that. That's true. I wouldn't think that we can't talk about now. Yeah, Wait, Joey. Golly, Joey. Like at the end Joey of it, just you're no, during the it. big reveal. No, just details of of how uh, we we've, we've we've spoiled things all so far, right? Yeah, this just is spoil it. Just spoil yeah. it. Joey says it's fine. I'm so yeah, sorry, Joey. Yeah. Um, so you're talking about the Stark rocket? No, the fact that her parents like are like die. Yeah. Doesn't that make? Isn't that in that? <laughs> Joey, Joey had like a small, pa- brief gasp of pain. Uh, <laughs> in in that scene, I, I would think that that would be traumatic for her to to relive. Is that not traumatic for her? 
Is well, like she, she, I isn't she reliving all of these shows because that's what makes her feel like she's in her safe place, like she's happy. Yeah, but but isn't that what she's watching whenever her parents die? Yeah. So wouldn't that be maybe not so safe feeling? Yeah, but it makes her think of her dad. Yeah, Where I guess that's true. what happened when he died. Yeah. Dad. Okay, I can see that. But also, people grieve in weird ways. Yeah. Hmm? yeah. That's true. <laughs> Which is a lot of some one people. Of the, Take over the inhabitants of a small town. Yes. Put up a force field that happens hey, to project if you have the ability to yourself and your dead husband in old TV shows. Some people cry. <laughs> she cries too. Yeah. Some people eat a lot. Yeah. Some people do. Some people. Now we're just going to go look at the list of <laughs> yeah, don't care if we all the ahead. saddest ways that you can grieve the loss of a loved one. Uh, that's what a lot of the interesting stuff that happens in the show is. It discusses like how we deal with What was most interesting, interesting to me about that flashback is mm-hmm. Wanda has witch powers before. Yes, before the before Tesseract. Before she interacts with the Mind Stone. Does she? Yes, that's what that that's was the biggest she, reveal. That's how she would she's, get... Mm-hmm. She's, that's how she saves him and... Her, herself and her brother. But she says specifically that 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 she didn't use her powers. That yeah, it was she a thinks that. No, she thinks that. Mm. She used her hex powers on the thing. And Agatha Harkness is like, oh, yeah, I see you. I, I understand completely what's happening now. You're a witch before. Mm. As what I think she's saying. I thought Agatha says that, and then WandaVision, Wanda, WandaVision is her name. Wanda, uh, Wanda just, WandaVision <laughs> says no. That's yeah. not what's Wanda saying. just... Contradicts her, say, "Oh no, it was." A yeah, dud. that's what she's trying to say, but I think mm-hmm. Agatha's is right. So you're she's thinking she acted as a witch before? Before? Oh, I think she just had it in her. Also, Alicia, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you to get behind that microphone. Behind it, like yes, this. thank you. Get thee behind me, microphone. <laughs> so wait, wait. She acted as a witch before. She is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> saying that she had powers she used, before the thing, but and used them and used them. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Are you saying she was trying to act like a witch before? Oh she no, was, I was saying I, is that she had that powers of one but i didn't think of and think of her actually have used them and even accidentally yeah i think I just, that's what i think that, i think she used them to make the rocket not go up oh yeah. and how big of a jerk is captain captain man what is his name oh so he's a bad guy the sword the sword guy yeah he's captain uh, captain man yeah the the Boo. what's his face name oh baron von strucker no the leader, no, no, the leader of the sword, of sword. people Oh in, in yeah. WandaVision. To just straight up be like, yeah, deception, lies, lying, deception. deception. <laughs> I need to watch this now. Yeah. So he is obviously manipulating it, but I think he's manipulating it. I mean, we know now because yeah. to get yeah vision back. Well, that was working. obvious from the beginning. But see, uh, there are so many like there are so many details that I feel bad for spoiling things. No, for it's Joey. fine. Uh, he's had plenty of time. Okay, Alicia <laughs> has given me permission. Yeah. Um, yeah. If Vision's not really there, how is he tracking Vision? It's not that he's not really there. Then we have this conversation. But he's physically, he tracks Vision. Like no, he's, it's not that he's not there. He's physically there. That's what Agatha says is her power. Maybe we but, had this conversation But whenever, with, with whoever was watching it. But her, her power is she can regenerate. She can create things. And so Vision is actually there. The, the fake Vision, quote unquote, uh-huh. is a physical reality. He's there. That's how he's tracking him. Oh, I didn't realize she, that when was she her power. makes stuff like I thought when, it was all she, an illusion. When she sends, what's her face, uh, Monica Rambo out? She's mm-hmm. wearing the seventies clothes. It's because Wanda made seventies clothes. They don't stop existing. Uh, whenever she comes out of the, whenever mm-hmm. she comes out of the hex mm-hmm. thing, she's wearing her Scarlet Witch. Clo- nope. cloak. No, 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 no. When she sends she Monica, Monica Rambo out, out. Mm-hmm. right? Because she's in the world. Yeah, but she was she still wearing her seventies clothes, world and she's still wearing the seventies clothes. Oh, outside you mean of the Monica Rambeau is? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that is true because she created that stuff in there. But, Everything that's okay. happening is but, being created. But they but were talking about really how created. it was cellular changing. Yeah, of what it's was conversion. Actually happening. Well, yeah. So there had to have been some kind of vision that was in there to be converted. That's to what they said version. at the beginning. That's Agatha what, is saying mm-hmm. she's creating, and when it shows what happens to Vision, yes. she creates Vision. Which, mm-hmm. Where's yeah. he coming from? That's, I, that's Well, that's why mm-hmm. I thought that he was an illusion. No. she's cre- He's uh, actual, okay. physical. Okay. Mm-hmm. In this world, anyway. And maybe yeah. her children also. Which is I'm why I thought so. that he couldn't come out of the hex, because he's no, an he's, illusion. No, he's like not being able to come out of the hex, because that's what's keeping him alive. That's what's keeping him alive. But she created, she's creating... 
That was a community all of this, reference. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> She's creating all of the old clo- clothes and cars and stuff because when they come out, like they're hanging on a hanger. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're, they still exist. Mm-hmm. It's just earlier in the show they said it was conversion, not creation. That's different. Yeah, yeah I think they were trying to figure it out. But yeah. now I think now we're That's realizing. That's what Agatha says. Hey, oh, hey, yeah. I, I understand now that you're able to create. Especially when we thought vision was stolen. When does she say that she understands she's able to create? At the very end when she's kidnapping her kids. And she's, what, holding, holding them, them yeah, yeah. with her powers. and what? No, You're okay. the Scarlet Witch. Uh-huh. There's uh, some witch prophecy, I guess, that MCU is trying to pull in, saying mm. that you're the one that can... Too much power, very dangerous. Yeah, 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 yeah. I also was perplexed by the fact I thought Agatha mm-hmm. was the person. Thought she was the bad guy. She's not really. She's like an observer. Oh, she's definitely bad. Oh, yeah. No, she's bad. But she's not like the person. She's not like the, the she's person not pulling all the strings. I thought Agatha was the bad guy. And at the <laughs> end, she's just choking children. <laughs> No, it's not okay. <laughs> what I mean she's is, not the I thought, yeah, I thought she was like the grand manipulator. Like this no, was she's her just trying reality. To figure it out. She, that she, had put she, them she into. was sensed, manipulating though. Yeah, she was manipulating things, but she sensed mm-hmm. what was going on. It's still Wanda. Wanda's doing it. Yeah, but she sensed that Wanda was doing that, and that's what brought her there. So it's like a hmm. twist, untwist, twist, untwist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> twist it. I got our next topic. Oh yeah. <laughs> so he's raising the finger. Yeah. It's about Kevin. Uh oh. Kevin, Mm -hmm. your job changed a little today. Oh. Yeah. Spicy. I was fired. (laughs) (laughs) So uh, Tanner Hemings is going to be the new student minister, which is great and awesome. Yeah. Super excited. Uh, I'm moving towards what was supposed to be. It was always supposed to be temporary Mm -hmm. that I was doing. I was going to be doing student ministry and young adult ministry. Now I'm moving more towards what Justin was doing before he went to North, which is mostly just young adult ministry, possibly also taking on some uh, pastoral ministry, like doing funerals and stuff, mm-hmm. which which is needed. And it's always something that um, people contact the church about. So if there is a need for it there. there. We also had a definite need to have a student minister that was dedicated yeah. to the student yeah. ministry. And so I think that's going to be really great for our students. And I'm excited that Tanner is here. But Blaine put an announcement out today. <laughs> like, I've gotten a million text messages like, what? Is everything okay? Because it's just like Tanner announcing, hey, I'm the new student minister. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know how to handle I didn't know how to handle the fact that, like, Kevin is kind of here, but not really. No, I'm still here. And, I'm definitely here. I'm not. I'm not. But, like, Kevin is the guy now. I'm not vision. So you're not, like, you're, you're, you're like, co. I exist in reality. Co-student ministers no, for I'm now. Not the, and then. Well. This See, is a transitional period. Yeah. There is a transitional period. I'm not going to leave the guy hanging. This is I not... understand that, but I'm saying like for the for the announcement thing, how do you how do you communicate I, no, that the announcement in a, thing in is a text? Right. Yes, I'm yeah. the student minister, which you need to be saying because he's going to be in charge of what happens in the student ministry. Yeah. So that's it's going to be great. I'm yeah, I'm excited about it. Amazing. He seems passionate and we're, t- we're supposed to be talking about uh pretty soon here. Uh like all like the social media stuff, but in, but I'm more interested, I mean, not maybe not more interested, but I'm interested in if you want to talk about it this early, if I what to are you thinking about? <laughs> All about Kevin. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next topic's Kevin. <laughs> if you want to talk about it this early, what are you thinking about new, you know, the, the future direction of renewal? Now that, like, that's solely. Oh, what yeah. You're I mean, on? I don't think it's too early to talk about it. I think there mm-hmm. are definitely things that are on the horizon mm-hmm. uh, that we'll be able to do, especially when someone. Uh, with someone that's able to devote more attention, uh, things yeah. like being on campus, uh, mm. a lot more things like um, not just the community at Renewal is one of the best things about Renewal. But I think that one of the best things that the community at Renewal can do is to be out in our community. And so mm. some some more things that we can do with that. And we also have a couple big events that are actually being planned right now that I'm not going to say too much about. but. Mm. Looking forward to that. Interesting. To be exciting. Yes. So um, I brought this up to say, what is the thing you're going to miss most about student ministry? And what are you looking forward to the most and focusing more on your young okay. adult ministry? Well, obviously the thing I'm going to miss most about students is the people. Uh, is, yeah, yeah. Besides that. Uh, what <laughs> aspect of the job? Uh, yeah, the, the, kid, the kids it's are great. The paper, it's yeah. about the people. <laughs> Yeah, the kids are great. But the there's going to be a Well, I'm not saying, specific... just talking about the kids. I'm talking about the adult leaders also. Oh, yeah. yeah. True. Specifically, I just assumed there was like an activity 
maybe that you like to do. Yeah, fun activities. Oh, what liked. what part of like the, the job is, job? Oh, uh, I mean, you got to play switches. Yeah, well, probably be doing that less. Actually, I don't play the switches that much. Oh, I let I let the children play. <laughs> when... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I'm just not good at it. Because <laughs> uh, Manuel does play with them a lot. <laughs> and beats them so bad, so merciless. No, no. That's good for him. Hey. He builds character. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so probably things like we're about to do, like Mission Arlington. Mm. Uh, that's my favorite thing that we do at the student ministry is mm. Mission Arlington. I say that every year just because it's... Um, it's one of the only real mission trips that we can do with students. Mm-hmm. Canada is another one, but who knows when we'll be able to go to Canada again. Uh, but things like that where it's in intensive weeks where you're spending a lot of time with people doing ministry and students doing ministry where they get to lead out and you get to see that almost things like that the most. Yeah, that is cool. Y'all take a pretty big group to that, huh? Uh, usually, yeah. Mm-hmm. But COVID concerns and other things have, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, Reducing spring breaks to try to discourage people from traveling. Everything we're doing with Mission Arlington, we're doing safely. We're, people are wearing masks. We're social distancing. We're taking two bus so we can even social distance uh, more than is the, what they're requiring us to. So, uh, And we'll be monitoring people's fevers and uh, making sure that we're social distance in the places that we're staying. Uh, but because of other con- – that and, and just – Schools and colleges uh, kind of not making it conducive to travel on spring break. We'll just have less people this year. Yeah. So now what are you looking most forward to? The people. (laughs) (laughs) I would have to say world peace. (laughs) (laughs) No, I think uh, being able to not have to run to renewal from something else or have to leave mm. renewal early mm. because I've been doing other things so long, being being able to just spend some formative time and be at things. Like I was at the stream for longer than I have yeah. been and hopefully be able to actually do the stream some and be more involved with our That's social coming media up. presence. And You're going to play Super Mario Brothers? Mario Brothers, yes. Uh, because we're... Mario? Yeah. <laughs> That can't that can't go. Just like we can't let that. That's Blaine. <laughs> oh, hail the queen of slime, the queen of film. Oh, my yeah. goodness. That's a Monty Python. No. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it is. No, it's it's uh, uh, certainly not guy. No, it's not. <laughs> Princess it's, Bride. Uh, it's her oh vision in Princess Bride when she's marrying Humperdinck. But Princess Humperdinck. Bride is very Monty Python. Mm. Yes, it is. Don't act like it's not. Uh, I haven't so seen different. Princess Bride since I was like 10 years old. Never what? seen it. No. Oh, yeah? And you were Never? giving him a hard time for not getting it. We never seen it? <laughs> I knew where it was because he, he showed me the video. Joe's like, no, Blaine, you <laughs> Philistine. <laughs> you got to be better than that, movie guy. <laughs> I have seen it. A long time Dude, ago. Tisk, tisk. <laughs> Tell um, him what it is, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> You tell him I don't want to. <laughs> uh, where were we before we? We're talking about what I'm on that tangent. Yeah. Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers, yes. Yeah. Uh, which one did we decide that I'm playing? Am I playing through all of them? I said we start with one. We go okay. The whole history of Super Mario. Once we get to Super Mario Three, mm-hmm. it can be two player. That's true, but it's, it's just one player. For no, a while? but it's not real two player. It's like two. It's like take turns. Yeah, two but it's a two player. Okay, yeah, that's true. It but is a real the first player one is because two player. you're. Yeah, we yeah. can do that one. The first one too. Oh, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. You're right. <laughs> uh, point effect, Blaine. Uh, you're correct. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, Super Mario Two is not really a Mario game. It's a knockoff. Yeah. Uh, Super Mario 2 in Japan is an actual, like, sequel to the Mario game. But it's, like, almost exactly like Super Mario 1. It's, like, it's exactly the same. See that? Uh, so it's different It's different levels, but it's the same art style, and it's the same, like, game structure and everything. Yeah. Uh, uh, and same so, Be- uh, You know what happened? Mm-hmm. We have that. You know we have that. That's, yeah. that's Super Mario Brothers The Lost uh, whatever the, oh, lost, yeah. the lost levels mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that was on Super Mario All Stars for the Super NES, mm-hmm. but was Whoa. never released as a Mario mm-hmm. game. 
Hmm. Never mind. Yeah, because the Bring American the Nintendo <laughs> <laughs> American Nintendo didn't think that Super Mario Two, the Japan version, was unique enough. Yeah, so and they it wasn't. had a, it's just like yeah. different colors and yeah. <laughs> different. So they had a whole different uh, Nintendo had a whole different game that they had made in the meantime, and the the American Nintendo was just like yeah. Slap a slap a Mario skin on that. We'll take that one. <laughs> and Wh- so that's that's Wh- why Super Mario Two looks so different than all the other yeah. ones. Which Mario Kart involves dinosaur eggs? Mario Kart, Mario Kart? or uh, Mario game? Are you talking uh, about Yoshi? Yoshi's Island involves eggs where he mm-hmm. you can Yoshi, Yoshi is where they had like actual I think yeah. some like birds. I want to say they had like nests and you could go and steal someone's egg, bring it over to your area from a bird's nest. Oh, uh, some kind of nest. <laughs> I'm assuming it's some type like of bird or dinosaur. About your- <laughs> <laughs> no, but like you race people, and it's I think some type of Mario. You race people. You go and get, get eggs. eggs to get eggs uh-huh. out of birds' nests. And then I can't remember. Okay, the internet, point find of the game. this game. <laughs> yeah. Good luck, Tomas. Yeah. Very, yeah. <laughs> Our one listener. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least she was like, this is that. Faithful. I, don't, I don't see it too much. It's the only person listening to this right now. <laughs> but uh, maybe Super. Are you talking about Diddy Kong Racing? Or Crash Bandicoot? Did Crash Bandicoot have a racing game? Yeah, there was a Crash Bandicoot racing game. It was for PlayStation. No, I thought Crash Bandicoot was in Diddy Kong Racing. I'm almost positive about that. No. I mean, maybe eventually, but there was a Crash Bandicoot racing that had nothing to do with anything Nintendo. Oh, no, Crash Bandicoot. I'm thinking thinking Banjo-Kazooie. Yes. Is in the Diddy Kong Racing one. Correct. But uh, Crash Bandicoot does have his own racing game. That's right. right. You know Um, what feat we just hit the other day? 25 mm -hmm. years of which video game? Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. I know that because they have a new trailer for this new Pokemon game that's coming out. Which one? It What's looks incredible. There's this new Pokemon game called uh, Legends, Pokemon Legends Arceus, and that's it tough. is the first open world Pokemon game. Hmm. What does Arceus mean? And Real cool No, Arceus cool is, the name of, stuff. Uh, is the name of Pokemon <laughs> God. It's the first open world Pokemon game. So you you uh, did you ever play Breath of the Wild? We just played Breath of the Wild on the Twitch stream, hmm. uh, but it's the first open world Pokemon game, and you walk around and there's just like Pokemon, and you throw a Pokeball at them. Isn't that you want. what it's supposed? Isn't nope. that what all of them are? Nope, they're all like kind so of. So here's the deal: I don't know anything about Pokemon because I was a I was too just, old. I was not too old for it. Uh-huh. But I was just old enough to think I was too cool for it. Mm. And so was everybody mm. in my grade That's and sad. like the grade below me. See, it is no. sad because I wish I got into it. It's amazing. Basically. Yeah. Did I, you get into it? No. I got into I <laughs> no. got I got re into it in sports. college. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? I got re into it in college. Well <laughs> yeah. okay. I, I return to it frequently. I'll See, have See, that's periods. also one of the things like I got re into like Star Wars in college, but mm-hmm. that's something that other adults were doing. Like, I don't know. Wow. Oh, I just, is that what wow. you mean? Shut <laughs> Way to nerd shame. I don't know that you People. can, can, what, can you are, get into There's a huge community of, like, Pokemon fans. Adult. Oh, yeah. Like I would I say, the majority of people who <laughs> no, I, was just I would say the majority of people who play the game are over fifteen years old. Okay, well, I mean I, that's fine. I was under fifteen years old when because I decided I was too cool for it, and I'm saying I was wrong. I wish I would have like been into I it. I regret enough. my decision. I wish I would have been into it enough, but now it's just like, oh, that's something yeah. that the kids are playing. Yeah. To me, it's not. I know. Yeah, lots of adult people play. Which is Pokemon weird because I don't think I could ever get into it, and I like. Oh, it's so so, great. so stuff like because that. Because I was a student minister, I mm-hmm. started playing mm-hmm. the Pokemon Go game. Yeah, now that was fun. It's just, <laughs> well, here's what happened: driving through downtown Beaumont. You're not supposed to play <laughs> while you're dri- <laughs> driving. <Joey>. What? <laughs> what was but, that, Bob? Uh, <laughs> by, the, by the way, Joey Michael came in while he's driving. Are you crazy? Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> you yeah. Facetime while you're I'm driving? Not crazy. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry, Joe. I'll set it in the cup holder. Mm, not always. <laughs> Have you ever drove one hand? Stop, stop ousting him. <laughs> not always. He's right. <laughs> but, but you can drive one handed and you keep your eyes on the road while you just got it facing you. But and then you're like, oh, so mm, it's not as no. Bad. It's like people text when they drive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing ever as bad as happened when that. Yeah. Happened. Have you ever looked at your radio to change the station? Uh, I don't hold conversations with my radio. This is, uh, are you making an argument for it? <laughs> Have you ever done this also very dangerous thing? 
I rest my case. Inspect the log in your own eye. Yeah. You've never thrown up Netflix when you're on like a four hour drive and just no! like set it there. No! Just like okay. listen to it and look every once in a while. I what, you've done that. No, 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 yeah, no, no, no. Look at him. I will turn on Netflix, but I turn the screen away from me. I just listen to the audio. No. Oh my gosh. That's I used cool. to do that's, that. One that's frustrating better. for a whole nother reason because you're just listening. To I a did show that a that you lot as see. a mailman. I would I watch like all of Next Generation as a mailman. Listen to just the audio. Oh, wow. Hear that post office? No, I wasn't. I mean, not <laughs> rain, nor sleet, nor snow, nor <laughs> Captain Picard will stop me yeah. from fulfilling my duty as a. Of course, mm-hmm. that's not true. What's not true? When it sleeted and snowed here, we did not have mail. That's have true. Time. That does stop them. <laughs> 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 only in certain areas. It wouldn't have stopped the Pony only, Express. Only in certain areas where they don't have Let's go back to the chains. Pony Express. That's what, that's what Joey's saying. Mail, there would be no suspicion of mail-in ballots if they were delivered by horse. <laughs> <laughs> it would be super cool, though. What? To, to, be, to have your mailman mail just trample through all your daisies yeah, on his horse. And <laughs> take a huge dump in your yard. <laughs> yeah. You know, that used to be a really dangerous job back then. The yeah. Pony Express? Yeah. 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 How so? For some reason. Uh, Bandits. Like they get mugged. Yeah, because oh. they're yeah. carrying like mm. not just mail but money, mm-hmm. valuable mm-hmm. stuff. Oh wow! They get overtaken. But they carry and they guns? had to go fast. So, oh yeah, yeah. They got, I think, paid pretty well to do it oh, because okay. it's one of those like, hey, you may not Risky. make it to St. Louis. <laughs> this is the biscuit for which they were risking. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cash money. Meet me in St. <laughs> meet me in St. Louis with. That. <laughs> meet me in St. Louis, Louis, meet me at the fair. Yep. That song? Yep. From Maybe in St. Louis? Uh, no, that's from VeggieTales. Oh. Whoa. But isn't that make, isn't... Yes, it's okay. referencing yeah. Meet Me in St. Louis, but <laughs> I know it from VeggieTales. <laughs> you you, <laughs> but you wait, strike no, me no, as from, a VeggieTales watcher. I no, it's from VeggieTales love only. VeggieTales, even to this day. Like, I'll go back and, like, still listen and watch a VeggieTales. I've seen, like, one episode. Oh, yeah. yeah, me too. It's really, I mean, it really That was one that distills. I knew I was too old for when it <laughs> came out because I was, I was in high school. And, uh, it really distills a lot of complex biblical it, what, values. Hey, we watched it like crazy when I was in the youth group. Yeah. Uh, start, sort of as a joke, but it was funny. Yeah. Not only is it is it legitimately funny a lot it of the times. It actually teach you. Like, it'll, yeah, it'll yeah, have, it'll have, like, just the idea of, like, a, a, a with, with God's help, little guys can do big things, too. Yeah. Is like such a simplistic way to teach a right. really huge, complex right. scriptural idea to children. Right. So uh, just God like, is bigger than the boogeyman. Yeah. We are the know. pirates who don't do anything. Yeah, of course. Which is nonsense. We're the pirates who don't do anything. <laughs> we are the pirates. It's a silly song, Kevin. Who don't do anything. <laughs> yeah. We just sit we just at home and lie, lie around. around. And, and if, if you, you ask us to, to do, do anything, anything we'll, we'll just, just tell, tell you. you. We, don't we don't do, do anything. anything. <laughs> this has been a dramatic <laughs> <All> reading. <right. laughs> <laughs> the pirates who don't do um, anything. You're really not making me wish I would have watched this show. <laughs> it's a great show. Like, like I, I'm not arguing that it's great. I'm I would say I was entertained by it. <laughs> go back and watch like the first episode, and you you would you would you would like it. I guarantee you. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good show. Why did we start talking about VeggieTales? Oh, me you and started Louis. talking about VeggieTales yeah. because you said meet me in we St. Louis. About from VeggieTales it only. Is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I know it from. And we talked about VeggieTales on the last episode of the podcast. Okay. So we probably have to not talk about VeggieTales anymore. Correct. But what we should talk about is... I'm just going to leave you in suspense. No, you don't have anything. That's why. He's racking his brain right now. He's like, what's that so fire starter that somebody said? That when they have an end to it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Have, uh, Alicia looks like she wants I'm to waiting. say something. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. oh do you have? Oh, so okay. you're waiting to get a topic. You have a topic? Just stare at Go her ahead. until we get it. Just stare. Oh, I thought you actually knew she had a topic. I didn't know you were going to make her the awkward one now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, sh- I'm, I'm shifting it from Blaine over to Alicia. Okay. That's better for me. Alicia, we're ready when you are. Hmm. So it's about one division already. <laughs> yeah. We did. I know. Last time we talked, we talked about Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And no, upcoming movies trailer. that we're excited about. So, you know what? Upcoming movies are, uh, there's an upcoming game that I'm excited about. Oh, yeah? Skyrim. Mm. There's a new Skyrim? Skyrim? No, no, no. The new Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls, yeah. So, we're just okay. not going to talk about We're just not going to talk about Alicia's thing. <laughs> <laughs> you, you put it all on me. You know what? You know what? Yeah. So I want to talk about. So after we talked about Mortal Kombat the other night, Alicia went home and watched like 
two and a half, three hours worth of, of Mortal the Mortal Kombat, Kombat cutscenes. They're kind everything. of good. Like she was oh, like, like the, the story. Did you play the games? games? Yeah, See, I, don't, I never knew the story. I played about it. They're kind like of the it's kind of interesting. Original one. They're I played. I, I, would, I never knew anything about it. I just knew some of the characters oh. and played them in arcades and stuff. Okay, was we, it. are you ready? Out, like Liu Kang is dead, and the spoiler alert. No, I don't. Not really. It happened in like the third Mortal Kombat, <laughs> yeah. apparently. Yeah. And it comes back. Is it just of, okay? So Alicia, since you're the expert now, what was the first Mortal Kombat? that thing was it based off of a comic book or something or was it a game first and then they just made the story around the game i think of it, it yeah i think it was always a game yeah and then they created these worlds it and characters a, and then would implement mm-hmm. them in the game i, I gotcha. believe it was a stand that's arcade how they used console. to do games huh. yeah <laughs> yeah dude it was it, like there, the, there used to be like some original content and they would make <laughs> yeah <laughs> everything wasn't just licensed there was well, they had their whole lore now like it's yeah. crazy yeah. like in their games and to their mind it it's not crazy. just like a fighting game oh no it's like they're living out a world yeah. that they've yeah. thought about for years it's complex there's like there's like yeah, this I, huge cosmic tournament for the fate of the universe and you fight in it and then there's alternate universe what should we call and, it? No, it's called Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Thank you. I thought you were going to do that. <laughs> uh, I see. I just know all that. So Fatality. tell about your new characters. Your, your new favorite character for the upcoming movie. Is it a new character? Or is it an, oh, it's an upcoming game. I think the game's already out, though. But oh, I don't remember her yeah. name. You need yeah. to buy her Mortal Kombat for I your do. Xbox. So who's Mortal the, Kombat who's the Gen Aztec guy? play while I think it, you sit there. On the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it's Mortal Kombat 11 launched in, like, 2019. Yes. And and they had an, an, the ultimate bad guy in that game had a daughter. Uh, yes. That, that, like, was important throughout the game. But, like... Oh, a new but character like her, from 2019? Because the bad yeah, guy in so that they, is Shaolin, right? They put new ones in every once in a while. Shaolin's not the, the ultimate bad guy anymore. Someone else now. Like, uh-huh. it's been... Oh, it's, the, it's been multiple ones the since The Time then. Lady? Yes. Chronica. Yes! Chron- yes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's her daughter, her daughter that she really likes. Her daughter. That I don't remember her That can mess daughter. with, like, the ground. So she reminds me of... Oh, oh, what is it in X-Men? Or, no, no, no. <gasps> Oh my gosh! What's that movie we watched? Our first movie we ever watched together. Oh, Aww. <laughs> do you remember the fake superhero movie? Yes. What fake superhero on Netflix. What's that? Sky High. Sky High. <laughs> oh my god! And the girl gosh. that can mess with the plants and everything. The first what, movie you ever watched together was Disney Channel original Sky High. <laughs> it was because I she wanted to. Love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, Wait, is that, is I your, pretended. Is that a Disney original? Uh-huh. No, it isn't. Is yes, it the one is. with Kurt Russell? What? No, no, you're thinking of a Kurt different Russell. one. Kurt Russell. The one where they're superheroes in high school? Is there yeah, yeah, it is. That's Kurt, Kurt Russell. Russell. That's and not a Disney Channel original. That was just a movie. Well, I faked liking it. Oh, really? To become her husband. <laughs> <laughs> and I never told you until just now. Yeah. <laughs> so, Kronika's daughter, is uh-huh. her name uh, Ser- yeah. Serena? Oh, Kurt Russell was not that. I forgot about that. I could have sworn this was a Disney Honestly, Channel original. I don't original. remember. No, I, I don't believe so. Serena is her name. No, that's that not doesn't her. sound right. To that's me. not her. That doesn't sound like her. Sorry. No, <laughs> that doesn't even look like her. <laughs> who's the that. Who's the Aztec guy? I like him. He's cool. the The new ruler of uh, Outworld. After after God. after what's that's his the face? one I was learning about. <laughs> um, I'm telling you, there's a whole it's like, yeah, it's like a whole universe. universe. It's so I cool though. It is. Names. It is kind of fascinating. It's fun to watch. We like Lord Raiden. Oh, oh my gosh! So just oh, from Raiden the original, Raiden, yeah, of yeah. course. This one. Uh-uh. I don't, I don't think, so. think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from the games. <laughs> they did say, get over here in the trailer. Get over oh, here. Yeah, that's, yeah. My favorite. that's my favorite. So, so my, my favorite thing, watch. I always thought Sub-Zero and Scorpion were like brothers or something. I Apparently, they, they hate each other. Yeah, they're they like from two other. clans yeah, they're, they're, yeah, who are like, have enemies. been warring for centuries. That's crazy. Why don't they just be friends? Because okay. <laughs> it's Mortal Kombat. It's not Mortal Kumbaya. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about the the new movie? Are you excited? Mortal Kombat? Yeah. Oh, that looks yeah. So good. Uh, anything can be better than the old movie. Citrion. That's true. That's it. Citrion. Citrion. What is it? Citrion. Oh, I thought you said Citrion. I thought that was, was the like, guy. Isn't that, isn't that she's like an, the mosquito candle? She's an candles? elder goddess, <laughs> uh-huh. sister and counterpart of Shinnok, and one of the deities responsible for banishing Shinnok to the nether realm. Oh, why didn't you say that? Daughter of Shinnok. Daughter of Kronika. Shinnok is, is like the devil. He's the, the big the big bad god. So you know way Who's more about this than we do. Guy? I know a lot. I, I watched a lot of this. Goro. Yeah, I used to like him. Who? All the arms. The four, the, yeah, the, the six arm or four arm? 
Goro, four yeah. Arms. Goro has four arms. Four arms. Yeah, yeah. The but big troll that, He's like old news, man. Yeah, man. He's, he's way like, old. He's like this, one or two. He's like last... only in the first and second one. Uh, that's when I knew about Mortal Kombat. That's when I was playing Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, Shao Kahn was yeah. the, was Shao the Shao old Kahn, ruler of Outworld. Yeah. And he was like this tyrannical empire leader. Yeah. But then he got deposed. And the new Aztec guy is the ruler of Outworld. Mm. And he's like he's like able to like rule both with honor and with like lo- loyal and justice. Oh. And I can't remember what his name is though. He's so a cool guy. I like him. We were talking about after we went home and we were reading about all this stuff. It's like, there's mm. so much lore there, and yeah. like you could go into character backstories. You could yeah. do like what an MCU kind of thing, which oh, is yeah. Mortal Kombat. Yeah. It'd oh, be yeah. phenomenal. Yeah. Oh hmm. yeah. Yeah. There is interesting stuff. Let's see how they do with this one. What's weird yeah. though is as I was but watching Warner Brothers is stuff. It. Hey, Warner Brothers made Dark Knight. True, yeah. true, right? right. right. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying, like, it's like they'll come out with something phenomenal, mm-hmm. but then also Warner Brothers partners with, like, DC, right? Yes. So mm-hmm. then it's like, where? what do we really say their quality can be? <laughs> yeah, the the joke is they haven't made anything terribly good since The Dark Knight. Right, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. They made The Dark Knight, I was like, yes, that was, like, the 12, last that was 13 years ago yeah. this year, yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though Wonder Woman was pretty good. Oh, yeah. First, First Wonder one, Woman was great. was great. Yeah, second one, yeah. amazing. So, Second mm. Wonder Woman <laughs> took away all the credibility they I, had from the first. I heard somebody talking terrible. about how Bad Patty was. Jenkins was had, had said that she was channeling old 70s superhero movies. And that I, I felt that. I, we talked about yeah, that. Yeah, that's what she was trying to do. But uh-huh. Okay. It yeah. didn't work super well. No, it didn't. Because... <laughs> I, mean, some seventies, uh, some old seventies superhero movies are boring. <laughs> yeah, like the original Supermans. I don't know why in the seventies they were like superheroes are funny now. Like why are the old original Superman movies comedies? Oh, I didn't know that. They're so dumb. Well, they try to be comedies, but they're also serious. No, they're not. Superman two. Yeah. Watch Superman two because you haven't seen it recently. They've lost us. I, that's true. Isn't that the that. one where he flies backwards around the world? No, that's the f- first one. Lane. <laughs> who who is it? Who is Superman? And uh, Christopher, Christopher Reeves. Reeves. Clark Kent. Oh. <laughs> Spoiler. Yeah. That's the, that's, that's the oh. old... We're talking about the ones from the 70s. Of course, y'all aren't going to have a yeah, no. have you contribution seen, to this conversation. <laughs> have you seen any of the new... Lois Superman 2 is one of the best... Is it? Superhero movies on lists all the time. You should watch it. I need to go okay. watch, watch it. Anyway. I have watched all of those old Superman movies. I watched the one. The with first one is Richard Pryor incredibly in it. long Richard and boring. That's Superman one... three, and it's so dumb. <laughs> yeah, I well, remember. all of them are are not that great. But Superman uh-huh. two is the universally praised one. Okay, I need to go back and watch it. But like Superman four, the quest for peace. Superman gets like physically gets all of the nuclear weapons. He gets all the peace. Yeah, he forcibly force like forces the entire world to disarm. Nuclear yeah. weapons, steals them, puts them in a big net, and chunks them at the sun. Yeah, that probably won't do anything. And then that creates the villain for the movie. Are you serious? Radioactive man flies out of the sea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. the stupidest. Wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sad day. This has been bad for a while, DC. But <laughs> yeah. Superman 2 is not one of those. Superman, The first Superman is not really that bad, but it's, it's very long yeah. and very boring, and pacing is a And problem. then the climax is Superman just undoes yeah, everything Superman just by flies flying around the, world, around the world backwards, backwards and, and that makes reverses time. time. backwards, which is also very stupid. Yeah. But. That's what I'm saying. It's like this Superman dumb 2 is a good idea. Zod. Superman 2 is the one with Zod, like from Man of Steel. Uh huh. I thought that was the first one. No, man. Who's the you bad guy in the what... first one? Lex Luthor. I remember him being there. <laughs> no, I thought he is Zod the bad was, guy. Uh... You know, him flying backwards around the world is the equivalent of me thinking if I go reverse in my car, I'll have more gas in my yeah. tank. Yeah, or, or if, I, if I go reverse, <laughs> my odometer will go down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the most ridiculous thing, though, is that he just flies around the world. How does that reverse the spin? Right. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> It should not. It should yeah. neither reverse the spin or time, because what you're saying at that point is the rotation of the Earth is what causes Connected time. Connected to time. To yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. I like but that. But that's what happens. He flies the around whole the world universe. backwards, and the whole, and everything goes back a few minutes, and he's like able to save Lois Lane. It's, yeah, it's, oh, well it's all about saving yeah. one person. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Well, and, and also. <laughs> like it's this big huge plan to like destroy most of California and he does it so he can stay close <laughs> to uh, of course it reverses everything else but yes uh, the first he, thing he does when everything is reversed is go save Lois Lane he doesn't yeah. just let California get destroyed 
<laughs> yeah, no, it was a nice so guy. Lex Luthor. <laughs> that's that. Now I remember his plan in the first one is to make is to break off like half of California so that all of his property in the middle of California yeah. becomes oceanfront property. Yeah. What? Yeah. That's his plan. Oh my that's his, gosh! His super. He's his gonna kill. Fest, he's gonna kill 2000. millions of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that he can have some ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twelve ocean the value hotels. of his property to go up yeah. a little bit. <laughs> It's the dumb. And it's he's really a good bad. guy. It was like, no, 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 no. Lex Luthor's Luthor the bad guy. guy. Oh, That's like, his, I thought Superman yeah. was doing no, no, this. No, no, and no, I was no, like, no. what? Okay. And, no. and su- why would Superman want to do yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> why um, does Superman own property, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you seen any of the new Lois and Clark show? No, I haven't. And that's okay. all I have. I sound like I was going to say more. To say it's, about it that. seems like well, it's, it's, it's super. Well, dumb. yeah. It does seem dumb. Well, because it's super channel is overdone. Zack Snyder. Right now. Yeah. We need another Superman. Okay. We need a different guy playing Superman. We talked about this. We talked about this on the Twitch stream. What? That they're rebooting the Superman franchise. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. We, we, yeah, exactly. There's I, currently I one going on. No, they're, they're getting rid of they're Henry Cavill. They're getting rid of. Oh, Henry loved him. Cavill. Yeah, oh, because he I, actually looked like he would be strong enough to be Superman. He looks like it, but he's an awful for, actor. What? You think he's, he's a bad so actor? Bad. I don't think he's a bad He's actor. bad in everything I've seen him in. No, oh, Mission Impossible? No. He was so dumb. He was so bad in that movie. And he was like the Witcher. Like the Man from Uncle? Yeah. He's bad. Okay. He's well, not good. I mean, he's not. I wouldn't say that he's unequivocally bad. Mm-hmm. He's not He's not great. Okay. But right. I, don't, I don't look at him as one of like the bad, classic bad actors. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. a cage or. <laughs> you just don't a understand <laughs> a bias. like yeah. Amanda yeah okay. it's a, it's a, it's a office Cage. reference Nicholas Cage uh, <laughs> but National Treasure was great yes but it doesn't require him to do a lot acting wise <laughs> just like we're gonna steal a declaration of independence yeah <laughs> that was Elvis. we're gonna kidnap the president <laughs> that's all. the other one with Jessica Biel was pretty good what was that next next yeah What's that about? I can see you in the future a little bit. Just for a certain amount of time. No. At the butt. <laughs> that's the, that's the tagline. But twist. Next. No, we're not going to. I can see in the future a little bit. Yeah, that's what it's about. Did you know the movie's about now? Like eight, it. Is it eight seconds yeah, or like something? Yeah, eight seconds. Okay. Like, what's, how, what does that do? I mean, it does some stuff. Oh, okay. it does a lot. Like, he knows when it he does. said something it's wrong, he's about to get slapped. You know like what would. the best Nicolas <laughs> Cage movie is? And that's Primal. One movie we watched in Spencer's house he we opened <laughs> on a jungle scene <laughs> Nicolas Cage trying to load like one tranquilizer, tranquilizer dart. <laughs> and he falls off this platform. He's almost killed by this white jaguar thing. That he's, he catches the white jaguar, books passage back to America with all of his ill-gotten exotic, <laughs> animals. Just exotic animals. Is this the one with the alien? A, no, no, no. With what? With who? <laughs> there's, a new, there's a new Nick Cage movie out where he's like kung fu master against an alien. No, 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 no. Okay. But it's when it's, he's it's jungle a, master. It's about on that level. <laughs> Against he's, an ex convict. Like, yeah. <laughs> so there's like super uh, scary, uh, scary ex, ex CIA spy is captured and also books passage back on this ship for some reason. They can't fly. I don't, I don't remember this when this booked was. In the, this, is no, this, this is like this? a modern movie. They're taking a boat from like some South why? American country to America. I don't know why. Okay. But uh, international waters, man. They could. They do beat it. the truth out of him. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. They got him in a cage. But anyway, this there. guy, this guy, they put escaped. Nick Cage in a cage. No, 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 no. They, the um, guy who is on the same boat as Nicolas Cage breaks out and starts killing everyone. And the animals get out at the same time. It's just, just a stupid, like it's terrible. something that you would expect to come out of 1997. Yeah, that's that. That's what it feels like to me. It feels it's like a, one of these cheesy 90s movie. movies that I love. It's a producer movie. Yeah. And so, like the what guy. If what if there's a giant mechanical Nick Cage spider in a and a cage. spy on a boat? But get but, this, listen. There's a killer white jaguar also. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So the guy in the cage like breaks out way like super easy, barely Very inconvenient, <laughs> barely inconvenient. <laughs> I mean, like it was it was the equivalent of like a six year old tying you up. And then you're like, all right, I am, st- I am stuck in here. <laughs> I couldn't get out if I tried. Oh, and all of a sudden, golly they, gee. Yeah, they like look away for a second. He's like, all right, let's get out of here. And all of a sudden, he's out. <laughs> what was that really terrible Nicolas Cage movie? Brian, I think this was the, I think this was the last Nicolas Cage movie I saw was the one where the world is ending 
and there's like aliens and they seed another planet. Talking about? Are you talking about like, Colorado Space? No, because that's he's been in a Lovecraft. lot of weird movies. He's in Ghost Rider, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He is the Ghost Rider, in the fact. Ghost Rider. But no, this All was the, one like the, the TV the show whole world. Agents of Shield that had a better Ghost Rider than him. Mm. Is Ghost Rider in Agents of Shield? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's yeah. great. Oh, Best season. Good. Great season. Mm. Fascinating. You should watch it. Marvel, Did we finish Marvel guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I should, because I've heard I've heard good things about it. I heard that it's tie it ties in with them. It does. It does until the last two seasons because mm. they don't want to. They obviously don't want to touch any of the in game stuff, so they're just like. Uh, let's do some time travel oh, yeah. <laughs> so we don't have to be around for the events that are happening in the Marvel Universe. Yeah, this is literally the only reason yeah. they did it. And then at that point, they kind of outpaced where we were at, and so it was just kind of like, what's really going on? <laughs> Get a little out of touch the last two season. Yeah, gotcha. But it was still really good. What, mm-hmm. One of the best characters wasn't really in it, though. So that's, mm-hmm. that's, yeah. Yeah. I've been watching a lot of Attack on Titan recently. Have you I've never, seen, never seen that. It's, uh, it's, that one of them, it's one of them animes. Uh, I'm not. I'm not typically a, a big anime fan, but Manuel has made me watch this series. Uh, it's pretty decent. It's crazy though, and scarring hmm. about uh, in the in the future. We open, yeah. On Titan. Uh, Titan? Civilization has been in the jungle <laughs> hemmed in to this walled city. There's three walls. Are we on one of the moons of Jupiter? No, we are on the planet Earth. There are three walls. All of humanity lives inside these walls because there are these monsters called titans, which look like uh, giant people. This sounds like something. But they <laughs> but they break into the walls what and they – Oh, they... this is Dune. This is no. That's Dune. That's exactly what happens in Dune. Mm-mm. Yeah. What? They don't live in the desert because of the big worms. They live on the shield wall. It's oh, yeah, kind of. Wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere. Dude. Anyways, there are the big monsters out there called Titans, and they come into the walls, and then they just eat people. Yeah. They just gobble you up, and nobody knows why. They <laughs> they eat you, but like they don't have any digestive tracts, so they just throw you back up. Hmm. It's it's a fascinating it's fascinating, but like the whole thing is like there's obviously this bigger, deeper, darker secret behind. Obviously, everything. that can't yeah. be it. Yeah, <laughs> and so it's a, it's an interesting show. Where's Titan? Good? Is Titan the city? I can't say without. Oh. I can't say. Okay. You, Is that you, on Netflix? You start to learn. It's on Hulu. You start to learn. Uh, yeah, you, you, they're, they're, you're justified in doing that. <laughs> Are you interested, Joey? There's not a whole lot on. Mm. Maybe an <laughs> anime. I'm just making conversation. I've, with ne- the man. I've never watched one, and I'd like an to. anime. Yeah. This would be this would probably be one of the better ones to start on, Good just stuff. because. So it doesn't count, I guess, because it's not actual anime, but. Mm-hmm. The Avatar TV show is oh, actually yeah. really, really good. One of the greatest shows ever made. I would we call watched that episode anime. one. Because I like You gotta get past it. it a little bit. It's 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 for kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but so, you two got together watching Sky uh, High, so don't give me that. Yeah. No, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender is like one of the greatest kids shows ever made. It's a fantastic yeah. show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you should definitely watch it. I thought you said it was on Netflix. No, no. Hulu. I said it was on Hulu. Hulu. Oh, Hulu. So one thing that... I have been watching, so I don't really have time for that. Is Forged in Fire? Really like that. <laughs> what is that? That's the one where they make knives. Oh, it's like a. It's one of them reality yeah. shows. There's one yeah. of them reality yeah. shows. Gotcha. The guy the, <laughs> about about real life. <laughs> no, it's not about real life. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it was about real life. Kevin, uh, Joey was insulted. He was insulted. They bring uh, they contestants make it to reality onto a show. show. I do like I do like the fact that they're making really cool things. Yeah, but just show them making the really cool things. That's what reality shows used to be. Now it's like we got the super hot host, and he's always like clutching his belt. <laughs> he's like, "Your knife was made with the wrong kind of metal." And he's, he's uh, you can't see it, but I'm moving my hands like yeah. he, like he, he, he he's looking for the pose wildly. that's going to be the the production still of that episode that he's going to show to the girl in the club that night. Uh, yeah. Um, it's a really good show. <laughs> they have like they have like a historical weapons recreation specialist on that the show. That guy's cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. they have they have various different kinds of judges, and so okay. like they're looking at different things. Is is this so actually what we ask you to make in terms people of people like come on? They're actual who knife know makers. Noth- they no, no, they do actual, know the actual. Like, so they're like an Elliot bladesmith. They're like an Elliot. Yeah. Okay, yeah. weapons makers, and, and so, so they come on. They make it. It's, this is like the tattoo show. 
Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, kind of, yeah. And so okay. they start off with f- four people. They put them through a couple of tests. They drop a couple of contestants off. And mm. the last one is a 1v1. They send you back to your home forge. I do like and the show. I was making fun of the, the guy. Yeah. <laughs> but and when, when they go to the final challenge, it's a 1v1, and they pick a historical weapon mm-hmm. from history to make. And which is hence the historical. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> historical from history? <laughs> Double whammy. So, <laughs> so they pick a historical weapon to make, and like they're wanting to make it seem like it was from that time period and look really well. But, and those, but are, those are really awesome. Really well. Yeah. Hmm. So it, it's not just a, can you make this look really cool? It's a, you kind of. It's got to perform great, and if they both perform mm-hmm. great, then it's going to come down to the details of who did a better Tell job. Tell us how they perform. Phenomenal. <laughs> no, how do they test how they perform? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah. Certainly not every single one is phenomenal. So, otherwise, there would be no losers. So they typically <laughs> do a kill test, uh, what's oh, called. Oh, like how effective it is at Yeah, the they get a ballistics dummy that's filled with like blood mm-hmm. and stuff, and they stab it. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's and not so, necessary. They do they just a, bring in a person they don't like. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they do what's called an edge retention test, and mm-hmm. basically they beat it on really hard materials to see does their edge like tear Break. up. Yeah, and then they do um, what do they call it? That like sandbag a, thing, like a slice test or something yeah. like that. After mm. a sharpness test, mm. and so after they beat on all these random things, they then say, "Hey, it should still be sharp if it's a really good weapon," and they go try to cut through like, stuff, cut mm. a pig in half or something. Yeah. Which is really cool. It's and alive. then the guy goes, your blade will kill. <laughs> that's his... <laughs> that's the See, they have thing. catchphrases. That's why it's, that's why it's yeah. really yeah. TV show. It, so it's a little goofy in that aspect, but like <laughs> that's every contestant who goes on there, that's what they want to hear from this guy. Like That's the mm. whole purpose of going on the show. Right? Yeah, I get $10,000, but yeah, is but, this but, guy going to tell say me? It, say it. Yeah. Say my blade will cut. Yeah. <laughs> it will kill. <laughs> has, it ever, has he ever said it will not? Yeah, yeah. Really? Well, if there's no. two people at the end, then presumably one's will and one's won't. Well, I've well, watched maybe so four. So they'll judge them never... like, like if they both cut, he'll say they both cut, oh. but then they'll pick out, out of them, hey, who actually wins. So mm. like some people who are going to get sent home soon, if the, it actually does cut, he'll tell them it cuts. But hmm. yes, he has told people it does not cut or it will Cedric, partially cut. Your blade will make an excellent butter knife. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. We probably should. Should start the wrap up section. Okay, Let's get we are wrapping up. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Joey. This here, All right, everybody. This here's the wrap up <laughs> section. Okay. Everything, everything, everything. Under, <laughs> under, under. The sun, sun, sun. I'm just gonna let you keep going. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, so yeah, Joey, Alicia, thank you for for yeah yeah yeah. Coming. It's always fun coming out here and doing this. Y'all are gonna have to do stuff in the future. Do y'all do y'all do y'all ever play? I do not any of the video games. I do not Call of Duty, Mortal yes. Kombat. Well, that's even better. <laughs> I would like why don't, to play Mortal. Why don't Kombat y'all again? come on together and play Call of Duty? So I yes. don't play any. Uh, that's I that's would play why. funny Kombat, because though. that's what Logan and Tanner just did. And yeah, she didn't do very well. Super fun. See, I would be mad at myself. How did he handle it? I would not have a good. It was time just if funny. I was being it was funny. Good, good, good. Yeah, because that wouldn't be mean to her at all. <laughs> Alicia, hurry up! You're in the gas. <laughs> well, interestingly enough, Logan was the one like yeah, in the Streets of Rage. <laughs> they played Streets of Rage Four, which is like a, a fighting game. Like a uh, uh, Street Fighter, it's like a button masher. Yeah, oh, nice. And Tanner kept on dying, and like Logan would be left yeah. by herself fighting well, the bosses, yeah. and would beat them. Well, That's eventually, funny. yes. <laughs> That's what happened. You know, it was she fun. loves like racing games, Mario Kart. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, I looked it up earlier. It's Diddy Kong. Diddy, Diddy Kong, Kong Racing. Diddy. So yeah. you're thinking of Banjo Kazooie then? Because Maybe. the bird has a yeah. The, I mean, it might oh. have been a bird. Bird. The bird is bird. Kazooie. Okay. And the bear is Banjo. But okay. both of them together make banjo kazooie. Mm, okay. And now you understand <laughs> <laughs> everything you that, that you need to understand <laughs> about Diddy Kong so Racing. It's a of Winnie the Pooh. You got Kanga and Roo, but you put them together. Does everyone remember that? Oh my god! <laughs> got that? <gasps> banjo kazooie. I never knew. <laughs> what is a banjo kazooie? Ain't that what you're talking about? 
Yeah, we were talking about Banjo Kazooie, but it's not you the made same it thing. weird. <laughs> yeah. no. Well, they go together like Kanga and Rue. Yeah, it doesn't you know, work like, anyways Banjo's because Banjo, yeah, Kazooie also not singing on his own. But you put it together, you get a Banjo Kazooie, <laughs> which we all know what that is. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. It's like a melodica. How like a melodica is a piano that you blow into, but a Banjo Kazooie is a is a banjo that you blow into the I Kazooie get it. part. I see. I see. Okay, we have to be done. <laughs> we have to be done. Uh, Joey, Alicia, thank you so much for being here. Uh, this has been Everything Under the Sun. Uh, y'all are going to have to come back soon. And yeah. y'all are going to play on the Twitch stream, I promise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always a pleasure. <laughs> Let's end it now before Joey starts singing. Sing <laughs> okay, the end. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you end a podcast, right? No, hey, why is it so hard for you to end it? <laughs> That's the end.